Romans 6, 5 says, For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. Baptism is about our physical death and resurrection with Jesus. He says, if we've been united with Jesus and we've died like this, we're surely going to be united with him in a resurrection like his. Jesus' resurrection was he died for our sin. And so you and I, because of our sin, we will die someday. You will physically die unless Jesus comes back before you die. And that's even kind of, we don't know how that's going to happen. The Bible's not really clear on how that's going to happen. We just know Jesus is going to come back. He's going to win. We don't know all the details of the in-betweens. But he's going to come back, and we will be resurrected with him. Have you ever feared death? Maybe some of you still fear, fear death. I used to lay awake at night when I was growing up, when I was a kid, and even in high school and stuff, and I used to just lay awake, and I couldn't go to sleep, and I couldn't stop thinking about what happens when you die. And I grew up in the church, and I'd heard what people were saying happens when you die, right? But I'm still thinking, but what happens? How do I know what happens? Christians say they know what happens, but how do I know? Maybe some of you have struggled with that too, and, and maybe it's not necessarily like, I'm going to go to hell when I die, but it's like, it's the unknown. I don't know what's going to happen. This is going to be crazy. I think about that sometimes. If I were to die this week, I'm like, whoa, it kind of freaks you out, right? My mom grew up in a non-Christian home. Her dad was in the military and was very uh, emotionally and verbally abusive to the family. So my mom grew up, my mom was, she's a beautiful lady, still is beautiful, but she was very beautiful in high school and a leader, and then she gets into college and she's like in the newspaper every week, and she's who's who of her college, and she's the president of her sorority and all of these things, but if you talk to my mom today, she wasn't saved until she was 23. She had nothing to do with the church. And then something happened, and she ended up at a crusade one Sunday night, and this dude preach the gospel, and then invited people, if you want to come to Christ, if you want to be saved, come forward at the end, and we'd love to talk to you and share with you. So my mom comes forward, and they say, what decision have you come forward to make? And those of us who grew up in the church, we know they're asking, like, are you here to rededicate your life? Are you here to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior by praying the sinner's prayer? Are you, you know, all this stuff, whatever decision, do you feel a call to missions, right? It's usually called ministry, rededication, or salvation, right? They asked my mom, what, what decision have you come to make? She said, all of them. I don't know. I need Jesus. But if you talk to my mom, she'll tell you that from about the age four until she was 23, she had ongoing panic attacks, fearing <coughs> death, fearing what happens when you die. She said, it wasn't really like I was fearing going to hell. Because I just assumed, you know, I was a pretty good person, so I'd go to heaven or something like that. But I just feared, like, ceasing to be and the unknown, right? If you're in Christ, you will die because of sin. Every one of you will die unless Jesus comes back and gets us before. But if you're in Christ, you will be resurrected and given a new body and resurrect to eternal life. <coughs> with Jesus, to be like Jesus forever. We know what happens when we die because Jesus died and got out of the grave and tells us, this is what happens when you die. Well, I can trust him. He died. And he's alive, showing he conquers over sin. He conquers over death. And so we can trust Jesus because he resurrected. People think that Christians are bold or arrogant to say this is what happens when you die for everyone. You will die and be judged and you will either go to hell for torment or heaven for blessing. And Jesus is the only way that you will go to heaven. Jesus is the only way you'll be united with him because we have rebelled against God and our sin has separated us from God. So we say you will either arise to torment or arise to blessing. And people say, that's so arrogant that you say that. It's all speculation. No one knows. Because no one's died and been able to come back and tell us. Mm -hmm. That's what they say. 
And we just go, excuse me, actually Jesus did die, and Jesus arose. And he tells us that we're going to die, but we're going to arise to be like him. You will get out of your grave someday. If you if you are cremated and you're spread all out, I don't know, your ashes are going to go and boom, and then you're together. You're going to arise from death to eternal life with Jesus. You don't have to fear death. You don't have to fear it because Jesus tells us what happens. If we've been united with him in a death like his, we will surely be united with him in a resurrection like his. Baptism shows that. 